Hey guys, um, today I want to share with you another one of these subscription bead boxes and this one is from um, Darling Beads. It is a um, European, a small European company and this is their uh, third box. This is November 2020 and I must say I really like uh, these boxes because I think the um, there's a good variety of beads. The mixes are nice, and I think it's it has a very good composition of things. So I think that's fun, and they always have you know a little bit of fun things and not not just the usual things. Here is the as I said the November box, and it's called um, Stargazer, and I can see. There are a lot of uh, blues and gold. So this is going to be fun. Let's see. I think the packaging is really nice too. I like purple. So I think it's cute with a little sticker on here that says thank you. That's nice. Let's see what we have. Um, it comes in um, a golden uh, organza bag, which is nice. Oh, let's see. And this time we have 18 items in the box. This is what it looks like. And as usual, I'm going to sort these out and I'll be right back with you. All right. Okay, so let's start. The first item in the box is this. These are 20 pieces of 10 millimeter dark blue goldstone beads. I must say, I really like goldstone. I think they are so cool. I don't know if they are real, but you know, they are so shiny and sparkly and I love the little bits of gold inside. See? Nice. Put them in a pile here. Okay. Number two is what is it? It's an 18 centimeter strand of four millimeter dark blue goldstone beads. Also, oh, these are the same, but tiny, tiny ones. Nice. Okay. Number three, then we have. Oh, this is a long one. Number three is a 43 centimeter strand of four millimeter metallized glass golden bicones. What is metallized? Uh huh. Okay. These are cool. Very sparkly. And you can see that. Oh, that was a broken one. All right. But some of them are a little bit darker than the others. Maybe that's. The metalized part what do i know these are nice sparkly and like a go like a um a darker gold tone okay number four uh this is a could it be a nine centimeter strand no 19 centimeter must must be 19 centimeter strand of six millimeter bubble glass beads in cashmere what is bubble glass? They look very nice. Look, very pretty. And they're kind of, you know, sparkly in a way. And the cashmere color, I think, is very cool. Very soft and it feels warm in a way. Okay, number five we have here. These are little stars. These are. 15 pieces of 8 millimeter check glass stars in the color Lumi Blue. Oh, these are cool. They're very pretty. It's a nice light blue color. See? Mm -hmm. 15 of them. That's good. Oh. Okay. And then we have number 6. What is this? This is 15 grams 8 seep seed beads in dark blue. 
seep sea beads okay i've never heard of it that's kind of fun what was it is it check beads i don't know i think these are check beads and i think they are good check beads these are kind of fun see they have white blue and red stripes on the sides it's kind of cool and check beads are they are good but they are not always that uniform in size. So you can't really do, well, you can, of course, do some serious bead weaving with them. But if you have them like, for example, a chain or something, I think they're, they're cool. Let's put them here. Oh, everywhere. As usual. Okay just gonna have these there all right and then we have number seven this is um, a 22 centimeter strand of eight millimeter white smoke baking paint beads what is baking paint I have to look that up they are white as you can see and they are not super super shiny but they are not matte either they are oh, like white with a little bit of gray in them. Okay, they can sit up here. And then we have number eight. Oh, this is, this is sparkly and shiny. This is a 21 centimeter strand of eight by five and a half millimeter electroplated glass rondelles in pale goldenrod. Whoop, that was long. Oh, these are super nice. They are very, very sparkly. Can you see that? I hope so. I like the color. It's like a dark cream color. Very sparkly. I like the electroplated beads. I think they are very nice. Very nice. All right. They can sit over here. Okay. And then we have, this was um, the last one of the in the bead section and this now is the finding section i think that's a good way to do to divide everything that you have a section for beads and then you have a section for the findings in that it's easier to you know follow the the list that's my opinion okay number nine what is this okay eight pieces of golden toned ear wires Oh, they look like oops sorry for the earthquake these these are normal ear wires but i think they are a bit you know thinner the wire is thinner which i think is kind of nice yeah i, I like that I can put them here it doesn't look you know that chunky in your ears all right number 10 we have three pieces of golden tone, three pieces golden tone clasp set. Hook and eye and toggle and lobster. Okay. So um, these are the hook and eye. This is the lobster, of course. And this is the toggle. That's nice that you have, you know, a little bit of different things in here. And I like it. I, I know I said that last time too, but I really like when the toggles are small. So you don't get to have a like a large chunky thing in the back of your neck or on your wrist. You know, if it's just like a, a regular toggle. But if it is something special, it can be larger. All right. There. Okay. And then we have number 11. What is this? This is um, 34 and a half by 29 millimeter uh, golden moon and stars pendant. Okay, this is cool. Hmm, we have to have it like this. Can you see? It's kind of large. Looks a little bit like a, <laughs> a fairy tale thing. I think it's cute. With the moon here. You have hearts and stars and 
yeah, you can use it in a bracelet maybe, or as a pendant with something here on the bottom. Cool, very nice. Number 12, oh, these are bead caps. Uh, 30 pieces, Tibetan style flower bead caps. Let's see. Oh, these are nice, they're not so thin. They are more, um, they are thicker and more sturdy. <laughs> and they do look like little flowers. See? Very nice. I think they're pretty. And they go well with the gold tones here. I think these are, it looks like antique gold more than goldy gold. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Okay, number 13. This is one meter gold color curb chain. Let's have a look at that. Oh, this is good. It's a good color. Not too super bright. See? I think this is nice. And the size is good too. You can't have too thin chain. And you cannot have too junky chain. But this is nice. This is a, this is a nice size. Good, good. Put it there. And then we have number 14, which is whoop, little stars. You see? Okay. 14, seven pieces, 14 and a half by 12 milliliter golden star charms. These are cute. Look, look how cute they are. Mm, I like these. Very nice stars. Good, good. Put it here. Okay, and then we have number 15. This is 30 pieces. Oh, four, oh, where'd it go? Okay, 30 pieces, 4 millimeter golden spacers. These are the round and flat type. As you can see, they are small, but I like to have the, I think these are really nice in between beads. Since they are so small and flat, I would say it doesn't, you know, eat up a lot of the design. Nice. Very good. Oh, let's see. Okay. And then we have number 16, I think, yes. And this is 10 pieces, eight by five, no, eight and a half by 19 and a half millimeter curved golden stars connectors. These are super cute. And they are curved. Why are they curved? But these are cool. Maybe you could, no, nah, maybe you could wear it as, you can make a ring out of it or bracelets. And you, you, I think you can actually, maybe you can like flatten them with the, with like a nylon plier or something like that. If you don't like them to be curved, that is. I think these are nice. And there are quite a lot of them too. 10 pieces, I think, yeah. 10. That's good. And number 17 uh, is, have I done something wrong here? No. 17 is uh, 20 pieces of 50 millimeter golden eye pins. That's always good to have eye pins in a matching color because not always that you have. So these are nice, straight and nice. And not so uh, thick. I wonder what gauge is it? It, it is. It didn't say. Hmm. Okay. But I think there could be, you know, 21 maybe? 21? I don't know. All right. And the last one is also some kind of spacers, I think. These are approximately 25 pieces antique gold Tibetan style flower spacers. Let's have a look. Oh, these are cool. You see that I'm wiggling around my hand everywhere because I have a new camera here that has the, the I don't know, is it called the shutter on the other side? So I'm not used to it. 
these are nice the whole go straight through and there's a little flower pattern on there see these are nice mm, pretty let's put them here i think i have to be careful so they don't drop on the floor all right and then we have a little surprise also oh, this is cool this is a 20 centimeter strand of 11 by 8 millimeter electroplated pearl luster glass drops in dark blue. Wow. These are really cool and very, very sparkly. I think, no. Is it check? I don't know. No, it's not check. It doesn't matter. I like them. That These are really, really nice. It's very dark blue. Almost looks, yeah, electroplated, of course. I think these are really nice. And it sparkles. Since the theme is Stargazer, so I understand why they put these in there. Dark blue and sparkly, just like the sky. Cool. Where am I going to put these? Over here. So this was what was in the box in November. And I think it's quite a substantial amount of beads. I like it. So you can really make something with this. And if you're interested in this company, I will leave a link below to their website so you can go check it out for yourself. And I hope you like this and see you soon again. Bye.